Did you know that you could use a thermal camera to solve tons of different car problems? Join Zion and me at Ask the Car Experts for some hot and cool thermal imaging tips. We're gonna have a lot of fun playing with these tools. From tires, seats, electrical, modules, bearings, loose battery terminals, internal shorts on a battery, exhaust leaks, belt diagnosis. Thermal Imager is a great tool to have. I have a snap-on thermal imaging camera and I have a Seek thermal imaging camera that works with your cell phone. This is a very expensive tool. This is a less expensive tool. There's so many great ways to use a thermal imager. Zion says, like the video, it really helps us out. Here's a picture of Zion. Look like a bear. This will run you about $2,000. This will run you around $300 plus or minus depending on what version you choose. Thermal loss of my coffee cup. I wanna get right into all the cool things that you can do with a thermal imager, but I have to note that the Snap-on one is a standalone with a nice screen. With the Seek, you need a cell phone, either Android or Apple. You can get ones with different USB adapters. The USB adapter does not come with the Seek unit. That comes in this little nice case, but this, you plug into your phone and your phone becomes a thermal imager. So here's the difference between the two. This is the Seek thermal imager. It does a fantastic job. Hey Zion. So if you had a leak in your tire, it would show up as a colder section right there. So that blue dot is a leak in this tire. So you can use this for tire leak diagnosis. So this is the same leak using the Seek. It actually stands out even more than the Snap-on. Really does a great job in diagnosing a tire leak. Now I gotta plug the tire. Who would have thought you could use a thermal imager to find an air leak in your tire? And obviously you can use it for leaks around the rim and the valve stem. Using a thermal imager to check to see if your seat heater, now you can see here with the Snap-on scanner, this is all a uniform color because this seat is not activated. If I go ahead and put my hand on the seat, now you can see the heat transfer to the seat. This is the driver's seat on my E46 and I have the seat heater turned on. So check this out. You can see the heated grid on the seat. What's nice about these tools too is you can actually dial in the temperature of that area. So right there, I'm getting 111 degrees. Using the Seek version and my Android phone, you can actually see a great image also if your seat's working properly. Check that out, that's awesome. Here's a great shot of the heating grid on a BMW steering wheel. Let's take a look at the switch that's turned on. Yep, and this is also, so here, check this out. I have a switch turned on. Now, if I had a problem with a component, an electrical component in the car that was not turning off, I would just use this and I'd hunt for that component. And sure enough, right there, I'd say, hey, that switch is my problem. Here's another example, I'm in my trunk and it's super dark, but there is my battery charger that is outputting some heat. And you can see I am outputting some voltage to my battery during charging. So this would show up as a draw just using a thermal imager. Here's a common cause of a parasitic drain on a BMW, the comfort access door handles. This is what it would look like. There's my door handle lock cylinder where my module is and it would show up as a parasitic drain right on the handle. I am super impressed with the Seek thermal imaging camera. So here's a common problem that I've seen on lots of cars. Car's intermittently stalling, some weird issues, and electrical problems, the car doesn't want to start. Well, if you leave a battery terminal loose, it will create resistance, and it will cause arcing, and it builds up corrosion on the terminal, and it creates heat. So let's take a look at what we can see. I have a loose terminal. Do I have a loose terminal or not? There it is right there. Right there. So I have a loose terminal. Let's check it out. Oh, look at that. So that's while your vehicle is running, arcing and creating heat. And that could be the cause of my 
stalling or hard start condition. This also proves that my battery does not have an internal short because it's nice and cool. Here's a picture of a battery internal short. I'm gonna have a video about relays and how they work, but check this out. I have a nine volt battery attached to one relay and I have another relay that's sitting there. I can actually check electric components. You can see the voltage transfer across my leads right on the thermal imager. So you can test your relays this way. If you're questioning whether your defrost grid on your car is working properly, you can use a thermal imager very easily to see the whole big picture if your defrost grid has a problem. Thermal image of the rear heating grid when activated. Just so you know, on a BMW, the engine has to be running for the defrost grid to work. So did you know that your rim on most cars act as a thermal sink? Look at that, so that is my rim and it's dissipating the heat from the rotor, see my rotor is blue, but the rim is actually red because it's actually drawing the heat from the rotor. That's why if you paint your rims, it can't dissipate the heat, and sometimes you can end up with a brake vibration because of painted rims. I just took a quick drive, and let's take a look at the difference. So you can see the rim is dissipating the heat, but now you can actually see the rotor is nice and hot. You can see the caliper, and the best thing to do is compare Hi, Z. From one to the other to make sure that the heat dissipation is uniform. What's nice with this camera also is it does give you the hottest temperature right at the top corner. Here's some tire diagnosis. So here's my tire right here. And you can see I have a hot spot right in the center of the tire. It could be caused from a shifted belt or overinflation. Check this out, you can check for exhaust leaks. So you can see right here, we have hotter temperature, so it shows up much brighter, and that would be your exhaust leak on your exhaust manifold. You need a thermal imager in your toolbox. It's so awesome that you can just use something as simple as a difference in temperature on surfaces to diagnose some crazy problems. Thanks for watching, I hope you found this helpful. Please subscribe to Acid Car Experts YouTube channel. Remember to smash that like, and a lot more to come.